And welcome back. Ohio Division 3, Region 11. Steubenville Big Red, the number one team in the region. Dover Tornadoes, number three team. Cambridge Bobcats, the second place team. And all three of these teams heading to the postseason with home playoff games in that first round. And John Simonson and Undo's Weston St. Clairsville has highlights now of Cambridge and Meadowbrook. John. Thanks, Don. Cambridge, 9-0, looking for another unbeaten season, but they'd have to do it against their arch rival, the Meadowbrook Colts. Let's pick this, this game up here at the outset, McFarland Stadium, and Meadowbrook would have the football first, and this punt, that's through the raindrops, fielded by Price Winston, and he'd give Cambridge pretty good field position here with a 20-yard return. Now, in the mud, in the rain, you're going to see a lot of this guy. Stephen Ford, this one, 10 yards, standing up, touch, or close 10 yard run, and that set it up that touchdown, made it 7 0. Ford again. This time, Ford scampers around the left side for a 30 yard gain, and this time the Cats, well, they wouldn't give it to Ford. Sean Maley just kept it, and he sifts his way through the mud, the traffic, for a total of 25 yards. Cambridge now on top, 13 to nothing. Meadowbrook on their next possession, disaster would strike. There's the football, and you see blue shirts. The Cats come up with it, leading now 13 to nothing. And in the mud, it is Stephen Ford. And Ford would rip off 15 yards before he's tripped up at this point. And they'd get it to the five yard line, and they know he's gonna get it. He does, and he scores anyway. Stephen Ford, a five-yard touchdown run. That makes it 20 to nothing. And as we look at the score, the Cambridge Bobcats, they win it tonight, complete a 10-0 season, 27 to nothing, and they were number two in Region 11. Interesting uh, developments in the playoffs with a lot of upsets, some questionable scores, and I'll be back a little bit later with all of that. <laughs> 